Hey guys, Ivan here, and today's news we have this freaking guy, Ryan Crowley, tearing his pack again. Yes. So he posts this photo in which he says, Hi guys, I just wanted to update you and tell you the truth and not hide anything away from you. Today I was getting dressed, I felt the same ripping sensation in my pack as I did before. So apparently he tore a pack uh, by, by dressing. <laughs> So you can see his his shoulder right there, his uh, chest to shoulder insertion. You can see that it got in blue. I don't know if it was blue before, but yeah, he talks about that also. So he says, it instantly started going black. I went to hospital and had a few scans to find out uh, that I partially tore my pack again. I'm absolutely devastated. I was so proud of how I was doing and how fast we were moving forward. I'm so shocked that something so small could cause this. He also adds, it doesn't need surgery, but it's extremely painful and doesn't feel far off as it did before. It's another setback in this road to recovery, but I will keep pushing forward and doing everything I can to get back to 100%. Like I said before, I'm down but not out. As he said, it doesn't require a surgery, but it does require some treatment and he's doing stem cell treatment. And he also suggests that many people can actually avoid having a surgery if their uh, pack tears or uh, any kind of tears actually are small, small enough so you can heal it this way. So that's about it. I mean, Ryan Crowley tore a pack again. Come on, man, stop tearing that pack. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Just joking. He tore his pack dressing, so it's not his fault. But uh, maybe it has something to do with him being in the gym all the time. Like he's training his left side. He's training his legs pretty hard. Lifting weights, I mean training when you're injured like that, I don't think that's the smartest thing because it does put pressure, it does put, uh, it does require effort from your whole body really and I think that's the real reason why he had a tear pack, it's because he can't really sit still, he can't just rest and sit at home and do something else and chill, no. Oh, that rhymed. It was an accident. <laughs> but uh, the, the, th the thing is, I, I get it, I get it, it's really hard for bodybuilders to actually rest. Not training, when you have been training for so long, it can be really psychologically demanding. Like me personally, when I started training like 9 years ago, I haven't really stopped training for more than a week. So I definitely do get it, but if he wants the fastest recovery as possible, he should definitely rest more. Anyways, I wish him all the best, I wish he recovers as fast as possible. Not that I think that he has some world class potential, but he might be a good pro in open bodybuilding because he's this big and he has solid structure and he's actually like 25, 26, very young and very big for his age. So if everything goes well and he recovers properly, eventually he will start training and start growing. Maybe he will grow to that point where symmetry is not gonna be an important thing for his physique. Big guys can get away with the symmetry. Classy guys? Hell no. If I tore a pack, I would be done. This guy is a genetic freak, he's really big and because of that he might still have a career in bodybuilding after this. We got a little training video, a little physique update of Sergio Oliva Jr. who is really confident that he's gonna win this Chicago Pro. So he doesn't really think Hunter Labrada is his main competition, he says it's a Kim Williams, who also posted a photo, I don't know if this is recent or not, I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but uh, Sergio Oliva, he thinks, yeah, everybody's gonna talk about him versus Hunter, because Hunter is very popular right now, and because he's his father's son and Sergio is also, but his real competition at the Chicago Pro is a Kim Williams, who is apparently doing Chicago Pro. And uh, Sergio, he's big, man, I mean, look at these his videos, like, he's really large at this point. He's also kind of tall, not really tall, but he's not short, and that's why he weighs so much. He was like 280 on stage at the Arnold Classic, where he took fifth, and he looked really good at that, that year. So, I don't know really what to expect of him. Me, personally, I, I find Hunter's physique more impressive than his. I still have to see these two guys on stage, though, because... Uh, Sergio has been competing for a while, I mean, Hunter only turned pro recently and he did only one year as a pro, but it doesn't really mean much, because Hunter beat everybody, every pro bodybuilder on that stage when he did a Tampa pro, first pro show ever, so now with having a year to progress even more, it's gonna be tough beating Hunter, so I do have Hunter in my top pick, the Chicago pro. Not taking anything away from Sergio, he is an amazing bodybuilder as well, I hope he also made some progress, because for his frame, he needs to be even bigger, even thicker. And Hunter, he, he's really filled out. So here you can see Sergio and he looks absolutely amazing. But again, uh, he needs a little bit more size, a little bit more density. And as far as the genetics, they're close. 
Again, we need to see them standing on the stage, but at this point, Sergio looks pretty damn big. And I saw this photo after I finished making a video, so now I'm editing it and I'm changing my mind. Because uh, before I said it, he doesn't look that impressive in the office. He's actually 12 weeks out, but here in this new photo, wow, he looks huge. He looks really big, really thick. So I can expect great things from him in this Chicago Pro. However, whatever happens, whatever the outcome, it's gonna be a very interesting show. Two sons of two legends of bodybuilding against each other on a pro show. And probably none of them winning, <laughs> because if this is Akim Williams right now, no chance. No chance in hell. I don't think this is right now. I don't think this is recent. He cannot be this ripped at 13, 12 weeks out. 12 weeks out, this shredded? Come on, why would he be this shredded? He's peeled, he's stage ready. I mean, I, I know, I don't think so, I, I think he's just playing mind games if he didn't really put any context, but it uh, doesn't really matter, if, even if he's not super conditioned as he was at the Mr. Olympia, I think he will still blow away these two guys, because the size of this guy, the thickness that he has, is just a whole other level, I mean, he's a top 6 Mr. Olympia, guys, he can be top 5, top 4 next year, he has still uh, uh, potential to unlock completely, because he was conditioned last year, but he still lacks that maturity that I think he will gain uh, with a few more years, though he has the size, he has the structure. He doesn't have exactly very good lads from the from the back, in the back double bicep, it doesn't look very good, that's his basically only flaw, everything else looks pretty damn impressive, so I can definitely see him winning this Chicago Pro rather easily. But, you know, Chicago is happening in 12 weeks. In one week, we're gonna have Indie Pro, and this is who we're gonna see on stage, Blessing of Audible, who looks absolutely amazing at one week out. Absolutely amazing. So I have him winning this Indie Pro. I don't think anybody else, uh, any, any top names are gonna do that show. So it's gonna be probably a win for him. His pro debut is gonna be a victory, I guess. And uh, in these photos that I'm seeing here, he looks so aesthetic. I mean, look at his statue of a bodybuilder. I do not see him cracking the top three at the, at the New York Pro because the other guys are gonna make him look like he's a classic bodybuilder, but he does have the aesthetics and uh, this is really amazing to see for, for fans. As far as the judges, they want to see the mass on bodybuilding stage. So they are bigger guys than Blessing, but as far as the flow, oh, he's got it. I mean, look at the waistline. From the side, it just looks so beautiful. Look at the abs and these uh, rib muscles as well. Then look at the striations on his quads, on his glutes. He is conditioned. It's gonna be a different story from all of his shows before. And he says that he's fully depleted here. And he doesn't need to, uh, to lose any more fat. He just needs to carb up slowly into the show. So he's gonna start looking bigger and bigger and more impressive. And now his metabolism is crazy fast. So he can burn through a ton of calories and still look ripped. And just get fuller and, and, and look more impressive. So that Indy Pro is gonna be amazing, actually. We're gonna see a very, very classic bodybuilding, open bodybuilding a physique. And if he starts filling out more and more, and if he gets bigger and fuller, he might do very well at the Chicago Pro. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised, but as far as uh, like the betting goes, if I was a betting man, I would not bet on him. But I have to say, it's a beautiful physique, beautiful physique. And down in the comment section, you can also see Michael Grigio and his comment. He says, uh, uh, front quads. We want to see the front quads. So he, he's kind of calling it out again. And I don't think Blessing needs this. One week out. But they, it's, just, it's just funny. They're just joking. Blessing replied something. Oh, you will see it on the stage, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Mike, Michael Grigio was like, oh, great. I can't wait to see it. So it's all good. It's all fun. It's not really like Nick versus Blessing or Ian, you know, that went a little bit uh, too far. These two guys, they are having fun, they're just joking around, they're both uh, not taking themselves too seriously, so it's all good. This right here is a top 10 Olympian, yeah. His coach posted this photo, this side chest, Justin Rodriguez, at about two weeks out of New York Pro, and he looks absolutely amazing, so he has been getting better and better, and he's gonna be right on time, like Nick Walker, he was ready three weeks out. Justin, he's gonna be ready on the day of the show. So maybe that's a good thing, I don't know, maybe not. I don't know what their game plan is, but it's but it's working. He looks more and more impressive, and it's gonna be hard to beat this guy. I mean, he maybe doesn't look that impressive when he stands alone, but standing next to the other guys, you can see how big he is, actually. So just keep that in mind. This guy is really heavy, he's really big, and he does have some really good shape. 
His waistline, not that great, the, the, the shape of the abs, not very beautiful, but he does have the shape of the arms, of the chest, of the legs, and back, back, his back is just amazing, and it seems like his legs grew a lot, and he's bringing a good level of conditioning, so it's gonna be amazing, actually, to see him against Nick Walker, against uh, Hassan Mustafa, and Plessing of Oribu. it's gonna be a great show, New York Pro 2021, can't wait to see it, actually. Here is Hassan at two weeks out, or is it two months out? Who the hell knows? With him you never know, I mean, he posts photos and you don't know when they are taken, but if this is actually two weeks out, I'm not really too happy with this, because he doesn't really look, you know, ripped. You can see wrinkles on his lower back, you can see that he is not exactly, you know, bursting how, how thin his skin is, so no. No, I hope this is not recent, he doesn't look super impressive, because if this is him right now, yeah, he should be completely ready in, like, at least a week. So, I don't know, maybe he has crazy metabolism, maybe he knows what he's doing, but if this is recent, I don't think he is gonna, he's gonna be at his best ever. He also posts another few shots before this one, where he does look really lean. Like, here he looks hard and dry. Maybe just the lighting, but maybe that photo that he posted of his back is not very recent, maybe this is what he looks like right now, and here he looks dry. He also posted a, a photo of his back yesterday, and even here he looks leaner than that one that he posted today, so you tell me what is going on here. Another photo from yesterday, where he looked pretty good, like pretty lean and full and everything. So, I don't know what is going on with this Hassan guy, he is a mystery, his posts are, we're not sure if they're recent or not, but if this is recent, I guess this looks fine, so you tell me whatever you think, and uh, if you like this video, please press that like button, and if you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do, subscribe to this channel, all the best guys, and bye bye.